Hello everyone, I'm back today and today we're talking about feminine communication, how to communicate in an elegant way. So this video was inspired by some of the emails that I get from the women that take my 90 day relationship rehab program. As you guys know, in the first month of that program, I have you guys not discussing any charged topics. What we're doing is we're trying to get the relationship back to a neutral state so that you can build some emotional intimacy and closeness. And then it's easier from that place to be able to discuss things that previously seemed a little bit like hot topics or charged topics. So what we're doing is we're trying to get you away from me versus you, like me versus your partner, right? Like it's it's like that state of where like, I'm going to win or you're going to win, right? We're trying to get you guys where it's both of you against the problem. And you can't do that without returning to this neutral state when you've been kind of in negative alignment for a while. So sometimes I'll get emails from women saying, but what about this topic or what about this thing? Am I supposed to just be uncomfortable and not bring it up? Well, you can absolutely bring it up, but you have to get out of that state of, complaining and connect instead. So rehearse the topic in your mind. Is it coming across complaining? Complaining is a low vibration, right? Like your partner comes home from work, let's say, and it's like the kids did this and my friend said this and this happened to me. There's a state of victimhood, right? He can't do anything with that information. There, it, like he, you can't even put him in problem solving mode because you're throwing too many things at him. And it's just a general low vibration. Now, everyone does this in relationships. We've all been in that state where sometimes we just need to vent. But what we want to be aware of is that is this actually something that he can help you with? How is this actually helping you connect with your partner? How is this actually solving the problem at hand? So that's a different vibe, right? So that's not connecting, that's not communicating, that's complaining, low vibration. If there is an issue that comes up while you're taking the program and I've got you not talking about charged topics, but you think this may be a charged topic, really sit with it and say, okay, is there a way that I can follow the course and move around this? If not, then if you absolutely need to discuss it, discuss it in a way that's graceful, discuss it in a way where it's me and him versus the problem and not like you're causing this. It's because of you, how, you know, you fix it, you owe me entitlement, victimhood, none of that. So let's talk about some of these as examples. So let's say that your partner is doing something that is actually causing you discomfort right now. You can bring it up, find a moment where it's, you know, you guys are laid back, there's no, he's not rushed, um, you're not rushed. The kids aren't around. Like it's a relaxed environment. Be like, babe, there was something I needed to discuss with you. Is now a good time? Ask for permission. I like this too. It's not just for the masculine. Sometimes I'm just get rushing or getting something done, and that may not be the best time for my family to throw something at me and expect me to be able to problem solve. So it's okay to train people around you to be like, hey, I, you know, I need a minute or. I'll, I'll give you a better time to discuss this and then do the same for other people. So ask for a time. And if your partner says, yeah, shoot, you can say, Hey, you know, so, uh, this has been uh, bothering me a little bit and it's causing me X, Y, Z discomfort. Do you think there's something that we can figure out um, that can help so that we can both be comfortable? That's a different com conversation. It's a different um, way of communicating than like throwing hot potatoing your emotions at him and then expecting him to fix it, right? This is you and him versus the problem versus him versus you. Now, even if this is something that he's doing, it's communicating with compassion, allowing grace, giving him time to come up with a solution. If you have already thought of some solutions, you can say, I have some ideas that I also wanted to run by you and then offer the ideas and then be in that place of seeing what he comes up with, okay? Sometimes it may take your partner a day or two days to process the information and come up with the, those ideas. So don't demand a solution on the, on the spot, but be in that place of grace and 
So I guess to round it up, is what you're saying connecting you guys, developing emotional safety, developing emotional intimacy, or is something that's pitting him against you? That's really a good question to ask yourself before you have these kind of charge communications. So um, if you guys are looking to start your inner work journey, I've got two separate programs for you. The High Value Worthy Woman Ascension Program is your own inner work journey that starts from the inside out. And the 90 day relationship rehab is great for women that want to know how to use inner work in relationship, whether you're dating, looking to date or married. And it will help you navigate those tricky situations and know how you can uh, communicate in a way that's really high value and spiritually aligned and in the best interest for all parties evolved, right? The point isn't to just get our way all the time. The point is to make sure that everyone's happy and healthy and feeling comfortable and having fun in the relationship. So both of those programs, as well as the dress that I'm wearing is linked in the description box. I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.